Okay guys, if you have been watching me do the build of Delorean, you'll know that when I first finished with this door, it didn't fit at all. So I'm just gonna show you how you can adjust your door to get it to fit. First of all, the first thing you need to do is not follow the book. So this book here tells you to use the QM screws to hold your door on. Do not use those. The door will be wobbly as anything and it will not stay up. You want to put in these KM screws which are the little thick ones here. I had four spare luckily, so that you wanna make sure you use these KM screws here. Right, so I'm gonna get on to showing you how I managed to get my door to fit. The first thing you need to do again is make sure that this wing that came with like one of your first issues matches the color. Mine seems to be pretty spot on to be fair and is uh, all right. But I know that a lot of people had ones where they're not brilliant and they don't match at all. Right, so just put that out of the way. The first thing was it wouldn't fit down flush. When I put the door down, down like this, it wouldn't fit flush down under here, which it now does. So I don't have to push it down. There is a little bit of leeway in it, but I don't have to push it down to get it to go shut. So it's like that. The way I did that, I'll just bring this a little bit closer to show you, is I lifted the door up. You wanna put pressure on your thumb on this corner here pressure with your thumb on that corner there and then you want to push down with your thumb here and pull the door here so when you're pushing there and pulling there that will allow the door to move so that movement will bring the door out so that will bring the door out here and it'll bring the door out here so the alignment will be brought out here also as well so that will allow the door to fit down this side there but what happened is I had to offer up the wing and then the wing didn't match. It does match now because I've moved it around. So the best thing to do is try and get this to fit on as best as you can. Just gonna quickly go ahead and get that on there. These are a bit of a nightmare. So get that on and then just push that down. And then put it where it would possibly go on the car. So there would be a nice gap there and there would be a nice gap down here. And the way I got that to line up is that will probably go down a little bit more now so I can show you in this video is if it's too far down then what you want to do is you want to squash the door like this just very gently and then that will lift the door up so that's how you lift the door up but if the this wing didn't fit here so this was quite low down and the way you can deal with that is I'll just quickly go back a little bit more just to show you is lift the, lift the door up and then you want to pull this section up and push this section down. So you want to push down here and you kind of want to do a twist in motion. You want to hold on top of here because you don't want to bring it, bring it off its hinges and you want to sort of twist it up like that and then that will bend the metal in a way that it will line up with the wing. And then as you can see here, I've managed to get mine to line up perfectly with the wing there. There's a nice gap down there, so that seems to be fine. Uh, you know, look, it doesn't seem to be too, it doesn't seem to be too bad of a gap. And the bonnet seems to be all right as well. So once that's all on, everything should be fine. And also with the window as well, the gap down there seems to be pretty good. And obviously we don't know about the back section yet because we don't have it. So um, I'm hoping that will be okay. But once that's put on and put into place, that should be absolutely fine. It keeps wanting to move because obviously you don't have that screwed in properly yet. But you can adjust your door. Just to show you that you don't have to go get new ones and that you can adjust them. That is just a quick video to show you how to do that before we carry on with the build because I didn't want to carry on any more until this was sorted out. I'm just going to take that, pop that back off and I'm just going to turn this upside down holding everything in place. So I've got this nice... Um, polystyrene from work so it's perfect it's sort of like a polystyrene base and it works great and as you can see here that's where your um, km screw will go there and then your other km screw will go there as well so let me just show this side around so the km screw goes there and then the other km screw goes there and you are still okay to use let me just flip this back up one more time you are still okay to use that normal screw on the uh, on the little gas strut there. You can still use the same screw that you use, that they recommend you to use, which goes in there. But again, still doesn't stay up. Uh, we still have to use those blocks to keep it up in place. 
But now when it goes down, it goes down with a lot more confidence than it did. As you can see here, it was scratching on here, so it was catching there, but it isn't catching there anymore. Um, as you, when it comes down, it fits nice, nice and flush there. Before, when it went down, I was having to push it like that to get it to go down, but now I don't have to do that at all. It just fits absolutely perfect, which I think is great. Uh, all the lines seem to be nice on it. There is um, obviously a little gap here, but I'm, you know, I think that that's going to be absolutely fine once the once the back panel is on and everything lines up. But we're going to continue with these issues and see uh, if everything goes well. So that's just a little bit of advice I've got for you there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.